Okay, Gauri, let's take a stab at answering your question. It's a little more advanced, so I hope you're attempting this after attempting the exercise that, you, that, that we gave you. So here's your question. This is a carom board of side four feet, all right? A represents the center. The queen is at the center. It strikes the front edge and goes into this pocket marked by B, all right? So my choice of coordinates is like this. Where it strikes the edge, I label as my origin. This point is A, dropping a perpendicular from O, yeah, so that it intersects the horizontal line passing through the center is the line OC, and then OB is from the front edge to the pocket, okay? That's my choice of uh, sort of coordinates. If I write down the coordinates of the points, O is 0, 0, a is, this is minus x from C to A, so minus x and then minus 2 because that's half the length of the board, okay. Coordinates of C are going to be simply just going downwards by half the length of the board, so that's 0 minus 2 and the coordinates of B are going to be 2 minus x because the distance, the horizontal from A to this point, yeah, is 2 feet, from that you've taken away x. So it's going to be 2 minus x and then you're going to go 4 units down the length of the board which is minus 4. So now you have the coordinates of these 4 points and you can now figure out the 3 vectors OA, OC and OB. Okay. So these are the position vectors. OA is uh, minus x i hat minus 2 j hat. OB is 2 minus x i hat minus 4 j hat. OC is minus 2j hat, all right? That should be fairly simple. Now, the property that you haven't used is that the angle AOC and the angle COB are the same, all right? And so therefore, if you use the dot product to compute the cosine of this angle alpha in these two cases, that should be equal. So that's what I've done in this step, yeah? So cos of alpha is O8, so let's take this angle here first AOC yeah and so therefore OA dot OC divided by magnitude of OA divided by magnitude of OC should equal cos alpha and that's the first part of the equation now if you consider the second part that's the angle COB then the dot product of vectors OC and OB divided by magnitude of OC divided by magnitude of OB should also give you cos alpha and that's the second part if you compute oa dot oc yeah from these two these three vectors that we've written you'll find its value is minus four if you compute oc dot ob yeah using these three vectors we've written you'll find its value is minus eight yeah and <clears throat> in the denominators here you can see that the magnitude of oc cancels out so you've got magnitude of oa on this side and if you do that that works out to x square plus 4 under root and on the right hand side you've got magnitude of OB and that's going to be 2 minus x the whole square plus 16 the whole under root all right now this should give you two equations uh, I'm sorry this will give you a quadratic equation in x which will give you two solutions now you need to figure out for yourself which of those two is the correct solution based on what the problem is asking you. Remember the problem said at what point does it strike on the front edge so that you can calculate the displacements AO and OB. Alright, that's what the problem is asking so you need to choose your solution carefully. And this should answer your problem. If you still don't get it, please ask.